Okay, let's start uh, task two. Now, task two has all the same information. It's just been jazzed up a little bit using the concepts of design that you've read about uh, in uh, Robin Williams' uh, non-designer's design book. So, step one is to go find task one. Now, I put task one on my desktop just so it's easy to get it in this video. Now, you should have your save probably somewhere else in my documents or... Uh, so that it's safe and tucked away and not cluttering up your desktop. Um, because I have uh, both 2003 and 2007 on my computer, I'm going to right click on the file and open it in 2007. If you only have one of those editions, just double click and, and it will open. Uh, the nice thing about both of these, task 1 and task 2, having the same information is I don't have to retype everything all over again. I just need to open up and start working. Uh, I'm going to do a few of the of the changes, uh, and then we'll save it. So, the first one is I'm going to uh, align all my text to the right. Now, because in each text box there's only one line of text, um, publisher thinks that it's actually a paragraph. Uh, so I don't even need to highlight. It. I just need to click so my cursor is blinking somewhere, and then use the right align button. And, uh, and all of my text will be then aligned to the right-hand margin. So now my text is nicely aligned. Uh, I'm going to group items together. This is the element of proximity. So I'm going to drag uh, the names of... Uh, I seem to have lost a text box here somewhere. Maybe I overwrote it or something. I'm not sure what happened, but let's... I guess I'll do the right drag button. I'm going to hold down my right drag button and put one in here. There should have been a BIM 12 uh, in brackets here somewhere, so I'm going to type that back in. Okay. All right, I'm just going to move the other elements that perhaps belong together are my name, uh, the date, and the teacher's name and then the name of the course, uh, Business Information 12 and Exploration Design and Presentation BIM 12. That can be grouped together as, as you like. I made a few changes, so I'm going to click Save. Um, now, in fact, you don't want to click on Save. If you click this button, Save, you'll actually lose Task 1. Task 1 will be overwritten with our new updated uh, version, with text aligned to the right and grouped together. Um, I'm going to actually click on File and go to Save As. Save As allows you to, um, to not only not overwrite that task one, um, I can give it uh, a new name, and, uh, and I could even choose a different location. Remember, if you're at school, you want to save this into your My Documents folder. Uh, or, if, of course, I'm not at school right now, I'm at home, and it doesn't like that. Um, but you want to save yours into a place where you're, where you're always being. If you're at school, put it in the My Documents folder. I'm going to keep mine uh, on the desktop here, and I'll just save it there. So now I have Task 1 and Task 2 on my desktop. One looks slightly different than the other. 